Hey guys, what's up? This is Sparks, and I'm going to be showing you guys how to install the Autumn uh, Journey into the Sand mod uh, for your current version of Minecraft. Um, so first off, before I actually start the installation, I want to thank you, say thank you to Connor Wheeler, because he has asked me to install um, the Autumn mod, and uh, he's recommended that mod, and he wants me to show him how to install it, so I'm going to show you guys how to install it now. Um, yeah, if you guys have your own um, mods that you guys would like me to install or check out, um, please leave those in the um, comment section, and I'll maybe I'll check them out. Um, so yeah, thank you again, Connor Wheeler. Alright, so to get started with this mod, if you guys click on the link in the description, you guys are going to see the Autumn, um, A-T-U-M, um, Journey into the Sands mod. So if you just, um, it's going to be right up here on top, so if you just scroll right here, um, it, you'll see this right here, uh, download, you're just going to want to download that, that is for the current version of Minecraft, and it does require a forge, so now you guys will also see a link in the description for Minecraft Forge, um, so you, you will, it will take you to this website here, and you guys want to make sure you guys download the very top version right here, that'll be for your current version of Minecraft, which it is currently in 1.5.1, .1. um, but this will work for any version of Minecraft, so I'm um, just saying that you always want to make sure you download the very top version here, and you always want to make sure you guys download the universal version, uh, just like that, and save it to your desktop just like this. Okay, so once you guys have the Autumn mod right here downloaded, and you guys have Minecraft Forge right here downloaded, um, what you're going to want to do is go to Optifine. Um, you guys are going to want to make, or um, I'm going to show you guys how to install another mod, which is Optifine. Optifine is not actually required for this mod, but it is a great mod um, for you to help you guys out with lag. So if you guys have issues with lag, Optifine is a very good mod to download. Alright guys, so once you guys have all those things downloaded and on your desktop just like that, I am going to recommend that you guys go to Minecraft, um, so just make sure you open Minecraft, go to Options here, Force Update, click Done, and Log In. Now the reason why we're doing this is because I don't actually know if you guys have mods installed or if those mods are actually compatible with the Autumn mod or with Minecraft Forge. Now if you guys don't want to Force Update, um, there will be a video in the description that will be how to back up and save your Minecraft, so if I do always recommend to back up and save your guys' Minecraft, so if you get a black screen, um, you have everything everything saved and you don't have to worry about it um, but if you are getting black screen make sure you follow this video exactly like I show you and maybe you just force update uh, just like I did and that will clear your mods so make sure you guys force update or check out the link in the description for backing up and saving your minecraft um, because that is a great mod or a great video that I show you guys how to back up and save your minecraft so well, anyway once you guys have a clean minecraft.jar here um, so just force update here make sure you guys close minecraft always make sure minecraft is closed when installing mods Okay, so once you guys have all those things downloaded and you guys have force updated, um, what you guys are going to see is a percent app that percent. So if you see this at the bottom of the screen here, you're going to want to click on start and you're going to type into start percent a p p d a t a. That's percent app that and another percent. Then you're going to see this roaming folder right here. You're going to click on that roaming folder and you're going to see this Minecraft folder on the very top here. You're going to want to open that Minecraft folder and this is where you see bin resources and saves here. So you're going to want to click on the bin. And you guys are going to see this Minecraft executable jar file right here. Now, if you just try to double click on it and open it, it's not going to let you. So if you just push OK and you right click on Minecraft and push open with WinRAR. Now, if you guys don't already have WinRAR installed, there will be a link in the description so you guys can download and install it from there. So once you guys have the Minecraft.jar opened with WinRAR, you are going to see this MetaInf folder. Now, you're going to want to right click on MetaInf and delete these files and push yes. Now the reason why I'm deleting Meta Inf is because if you don't, you will get a black screen and what Meta Inf doesn't allow your mods to run. So you always want to make sure you delete that Meta Inf in the Minecraft.jar. Okay, so once you guys have got that done, you're going to want to open this Forge folder here. Now make sure that is, again, the universal version. So you guys open a Minecraft Forge Universal, drag it over here, and you're going to see this Meta Inf folder here. Also, you're going to want to leave that there because that is part of Forge and you're going to need it in, if you want to play your game. So if you just leave that there, select all. So if you just right click here and select all, you're going to want to drag all these folders right into the minecraft.jar that you open within our so if you once it's done you can push ok and you guys can close minecraft forge now again i'm going to show you guys how to install optifine um, but optifine is not actually required for this mod it's just a great mod to help you guys out with lag so once you guys have optifine open you're going to want to select all here and you're going to drag all these files right into the minecraft.jar that you open within our and push ok and you guys are done with Optifine. So you can close Optifine. And you guys can also close the Minecraft.jar that you open within R. So you can exit out of that. And you're going to want to be back here where you open the Minecraft. You're going to go back one where you see bin, resources, and saves. Now if you guys have accidentally exited out of this or you guys don't know where I'm at, um, how we got to this was with... 
with percent after percent then we went to roaming and then we went to minecraft and this is where we see bin resources and saves now you're going to want to click up here and you're going to add a new folder and you want to call this folder mods all under caps mods folder and push enter you want to open this mods folder and you're going to make sure this folder is empty and you're going to want to drag the auto mod right into the minecraft uh, mods folder where you open there and you guys are completely done with installation and you guys are ready to play the auto mod so if you guys actually want to see what's in this auto mod, I will do a mod review, so it will be in the link up here, so you guys can click on that, and I'll show you guys what's actually in the mod and that kind of thing. Um, so yeah, hopefully this video guys helped you. Hopefully this video helped you guys out. Um, I really enjoy doing a lot of mod installs for you guys because I really like helping you guys. Um, so again, if you guys uh, have your own um, mod that you guys want me to check out, make sure you guys leave me a comment in the comment section and maybe I'll check it out and maybe I'll feature you here. So yeah, again, I want to thank you to Connor Wheeler because he has asked me to install this mod. So if you guys want to be part of the Blaze Army, make sure you guys have subscribed. I do a lot of mod reviews and a lot of mod installs on my channel so you guys can check that out. And I've also just recently started a Skyblock series and also a Hunger Games series. So if you guys want, are interested in those kind of things, make sure you guys check me out. Alright, so yeah, I want to thank you guys again so much for watching.